how to create a free content calendar with Google Sheets. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how you can get started with building your own free content calendar using Google Sheets. Now, the best part about this is that it's super easy, super simple, and effective. Plus, it serves all your basic needs and you don't have to download any complicated softwares or complicated tools to be able to manage and build your content calendar. Plus, it's accessible on all of your devices so you can keep track however you like. Now, to get started, we're going to go on to docs.google.com and from here you have a little template gallery which can help you in you know building a few things but we're gonna get started with our content calendar now there is a annual calendar uh, sheet or template over here but i don't like to use that i like to build my own so i'm gonna open up a blank spreadsheet and the first thing you're gonna do the most important thing is putting in the name on the top left because you can build a bunch of different calendars and when all of it is just titled untitled spreadsheet it just messes with you later on so what i'm going to do is i'm going to add this as instagram content calendar like this now one thing to note is that i like to leave the first a column as empty now in the second column i like to get started with putting in the month so before i do that i like to space out everything a little because i will be you know we're going to be putting in content in this and our blocks are going to be quite a lot bigger than the normal sized one so i just like to expand everything a little and then do this too just to make it easier for me to later on do everything now one thing to note is that we have 12 months so we're going to be using 12 rows over here and then below that it's going to be around four columns so we're going to enter the first off you're going to open up your calendar and you're going to enter the month that you want to build this so i'm going to build it for january first so what i'm going to do is i'm going to write i'm going to first off select one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So we have twelve over here. Obviously, these are a lot, but we're just going to join all of these together. So what I'm going to do is do a right click, and then what we're going to do is we are going to merge all these cells. So what I'm going to do is we are going to merge our cells. You can find that in the format option as well. And then click on merge all like this now once we've merged all of these i like to just put in the text which is going to be january like this and then i like to just center the text so what we're gonna do is we are going to center this going back into this but like this align it to the center over here now once i've completed this just to make this a bit easier now if you want you can hyperlink and build it like this however to make this simpler you can just put in the days so i'm gonna do this seven days a week instead of you know building the entire month so i can just add um january and add 2024 to the top sorry about that guys so 2024 to the top and then we have january and then you can add the next month the next month and so on i like to follow this format so feb march april like this and then i like to hyperlink all of these to the corresponding uh sheet uh cell number so at the bottom so if i have january listed in the bottom we can hyperlink that so we can jump right to that in our content calendar now this is not a necessary step so if you want to directly only have you know one month and you don't want the details on this we can just open up a new one over here so if you don't want to build the original calendar we can do this pretty much the same thing but instead of doing 12 months you're gonna only do seven so we have seven and if you don't have content on sundays or something like that you can skip a day as well but i like to add all seven i'm gonna choose three four five six seven leaving our first column empty always so we're just going to merge these together and then i'm just going to add january like that and then i'm just going to center this text and then i am going to add the days so let's say it's monday tuesday thursday friday monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday and then sunday so once i've added all the days within my content calendar i'm just going to expand these cells a little 
like this once i've expanded these one thing i like to do is build the number of weeks we're going to include so in january you guys can see uh, our month is actually starting from the first uh, and until on monday so from one to six that's going to be our first calendar dates now the reason why i like to keep the left column empty is to enter the dates so our corresponding content is not hidden so in the cells within the particular day i can enter the content so our month is going to be from the first to the seventh i think yeah this is it so it's from the first to the yeah, seventh and then from the eight to the no to the 15th as these would be the corresponding dates that would be added then from the 16th to the 22nd and then from the 23rd to the 29th 29 and then we can add our final column which is going to be uh you can choose to add the days of february if you want but if you want to start your next calendar then you can do that as well but i'm just going to include it to the 30th to the next month so we're going to add the fifth over here like this so after you have inserted all of the information i like to put this all towards a center align and then one thing i like to do is i like to select these cells over here and you can build a little bit of a distinction between this so i like to go on ahead and you can enter you know of a bit of a column so we can select that and then we can filter those out as well but i'm going to build a background for these as well these are the dates and this would be the corresponding day that the content would be uploaded in so the next thing i like to do is if you want you can insert tables and you know make sure everything is tabled and lined like this so you can enter a border over here for each individual cell like this i don't like that so i am not going to be using that i like to only add a line over here so i would select this and then add a border and then i'm going to make it slightly thicker over here like this now between every day i will add a larger border so it's easier for me to distinguish like this so taking each one of these days if you want you can always you know change this as well i'm just going to expand this a little so it's easier for you guys to understand how we're going to put in the content like this so once we've expanded all of this now from here i can start putting in the content so let's say over here i'm going to put in maybe new year congrats post and then i can insert that now if your text is expanding all you have to do is when you insert all of your text you can just click on that and click on the uh, formatting of your text and you can format towards the sender if that doesn't work you can go into text wrapping and just wrap the text to inside your cell so you can just select this option or you can clip it as well so the text would end but i like to wrap it because that usually looks the neatest for all of my cells now the next thing you want to do is maybe you want to insert the images as well so you can click on that click on insert and we're going to insert an image and click on insert image and cell and then we are going to just upload a file let's say we want to insert this so i'm going to upload this image and then just like that our image has been uploaded as well now keep in mind you can also write alongside this so what you can do is you can just go on ahead and then insert your text like if i insert the text it's going to move the uh, image so a easier way to do that is to just go back go back insert your image first and then text wrap it on top or you can insert the image as a background so you can go back let's say this is our image and then we are going to go on ahead and add alternate text as well going back into the cell like that. you guys can see you know the entire image is going to resize accordingly but we can just refit it back into a smaller size and then wrap the text around it accordingly. So in this way, you can get started with building your own content calendar. And then you can just copy and paste this and change the month. And that is all you have to do. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe.